Hello everyone. Today we're going to have the side splitter theorem. So side splitter theorem is part of the SAS. Before we jump into this uh, state statements that we have over here, I would like you to notice that this picture that we have here is made up of two triangles. So the first triangle that we can see from here is the uh, big triangle without that uh, line in the middle that's the big triangle without of course without these letters b and c that's the big triangle we call this as a d e now this line b c splits the triangle into two so now we have a small triangle the small triangle is on top and then the big triangle which is the whole thing but uh, they are sitting at exactly the same angle right here. So this angle, so that this angle that we have here, is the same for both of them. That's the reason why this is SAS. Now here's the thing: if both line BC and line DE are parallel, the parallel um, indication of a parallel line are these two arrowheads that we have over here. So they are parallel. Then it means that the length of the length of AB over the whole thing DE is equal to AC over the whole thing AE. Therefore, we can conclude that this two triangle again the two triangle that we're talking about is the small triangle. And the big triangle right there would be similar to each other. So uh, be sure that when we set up the fraction here, we don't randomly pair them up. So the pattern is the first part over the whole thing. The, f the, uh, the first part, AC, over the whole thing. So the denominator would be the whole thing of this whole side length right here. Now let's have an example to better see this. Again, please do not randomly pick numbers and put them in fraction. It's not going to work that way. So let's take this example right here. So I have here this um, X and the whole thing is 99. And then we're looking for X right there. So in order that we can set this up, we can have, again, it starts, this, by the way, these two lines are parallel. So that means the formula that we, we talked about in the first slide is the same formula that we're going to use over here. So that would be X over 99 is equal to, so that's uh, the uh, first part over the whole thing, 50 over the whole thing is 90. And then from here, we're going to cross multiply these two and cross multiply these two. So then this would come out 90 times x is equal to 99 times 50. And so this becomes 90x equals 99 times 50 is 4950. So then we divide both sides by 90 divide this by 90 we can cross the 90 out so then it means that our x is 55 so this length right here is 55 now let's check if we got uh, those two fractions uh, equal to each other so let's check that over here so we have 55 over 99 again the, the only way that we we would know if we got our x correct is to check it so 55 over 99 is that equal to 50 over 90 so i'll set it up over here on the calculators so i'm going to divide it so that would be 55 divided by 99 so that's the number right there now i divide 50 divided by 90 and so they are a match. That means these two are equal to each other. So that means our x value, which is 55, should be correct. Because if you take this as 54, they're not going to match up. So it's not going to work. So x is 55. Now let's try another problem right here. Okay. So as you can see on this problem here, we are missing this part right here and we're missing this part and we need this part in order that we can um, solve for the x. So first thing that we need to remember here, this side, 
should be since we we say that the whole thing is 39 and this is 13 we can therefore set up this equation to be 39 minus 13 so that means the whole thing minus 13 should be this side right here and so 39 minus 13 is 26 so this side right here is 26 now looking at this side right here we do the same thing so we're going to look at this side what is the expression over here so we, we know that this is x and this is 12 just like how we did over here 39 minus 13 so we do the same thing here but it's not a number but it's an x so that would be x minus 12 is our um, expression for this side so this is x minus 12 so then from here we can set up the uh, we can set up the equation to solve for x again we, we take the first uh, part so that would be x minus 12 over the whole thing is x is equal to 26 over the whole thing is 39 so we were just using this 13 to get the 26 and we were using this 12 to get this side length right here so from here we are going to cross multiply these um two right here so i'm going to cross multiply these two i'm going to cross multiply these two so we are left with 20 so that's going to be x times 26 and then um, that would be equal to 39 times x minus 12. And so we distribute the 39 to both terms inside the parentheses. So this would come out 26x is equal to 39x minus 468. So then we subtract 39 from both sides minus 39x minus 39 um, x so this means we can cross the 39 x right here so we are left with negative 13 x is equal to negative 468 then from here we divide both sides by negative 13 divide this by negative 13 so we're left with x is equal to 36 and that would be positive because we have both negatives would be a positive okay now let's try to check if we got the same if these two fractions would come out the same so since we know that the x is again this time around we are checking so let's check if these two fractions are equal so our x is 36 so that would mean 36 minus 12 is so again x is 36 so 36 minus 12 is 24 over the x is 36 the one that we got over here is that equal to 26 over so that's 26 over 39 so let's use the calculator on that to see if these two fractions are equal so we start with 24 divided by 36 that's the answer right there then 26 divided by 39 and that's the answer right there it's a match so that means this these two fractions are equal each other and so our value for x is correct and that is 36. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!